what's good y'all your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out the hidden signal the rock will betray roman reigns and the bloodline and other huge wwe wrestlemania matches and other wrestling news now a lot of you guys have been talking about this all night long into today about the potential signs and signals that the rock may be uh betraying roman reigns in the bloodline and it's actually been quite interesting some of the theories that you guys have come up with so we're going to check some of these out in this video appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel we're going to get right into this one should be a good one man what is going on guys it is wrestlemania here back with another video now things are really heating up after the wrestlemania press conference as triple h plans to address the fallout from thursday's event so join us now as we look at this week's edition of smackdown as well as the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including the rock signal that he will betray roman reigns two massive bouts planned for wrestlemania mm. an nxt superstar injured again and much more be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania Shorts. They are a little shorter, but packed with detail. But as always, we won't recap the matches, but just look at the good, the bad, and the downright ugly. As always, we start off with the good as number one, The Rock joins the bloodline. Yes. Now, the Rock is back, but he quickly made it clear that he has no use for the fans, largely because they ruined the match of the century by asking for Cody versus Roman mm -hmm. rather than the better choice, The Rock versus Roman Reigns. This segment was all about two things, making sure the fans know that The Rock is heel and solidifying his spot in the yep. bloodline. We also love the fact that The Rock was kind of meshing in two eras together with his look. Yeah. The $500 shirts, but in the Hollywood Rock style yep. waistcoat. Knowing the price is now, those $500 shirts must be $5,000 <laughs> shirts by Max. now. While some fans were upset that the WWE didn't set up the expected Cody Seth versus, versus Rock and Roman match at WrestleMania, there's plenty of time to do this, and the WWE isn't rushing a storyline this epic. Number yeah, two. they don't have to, to rush into it. Um, it's... It's going to be very interesting to see how they play this out. It, this is what makes this whole storyline so great. We don't know. We may get a, a Roman and Rock versus Seth and Cody. They may start setting that up at Elimination Chamber. Like I said last night, um, Seth and Cody are supposed to be on the Grayson Waller show. And Grayson was talking to Paul Heyman outside of the locker room. So that could be uh something right around the corner that may be a real match we have at wrestlemania this tag team match between the rock and roman versus uh seth and cody so we'll see how that plays out two more good elimination chamber qualifiers the smackdown featured more magnificent elimination chamber qualifier matches yeah while logan paul naomi and tiffany stratton's win were foregone conclusions the matches were still very entertaining and both the elimination chamber matches mm -hmm. looked to be pure gold Number three, did Logan Paul just wrestle on TV? Uh, who was yeah. the blonde guy wrestling The Miz on SmackDown last night? And what was he doing with the US Championship? Oh wait, that was actually Logan Paul, the WWE's resident celebrity champion, making sparse appearances here and there. Now many people have remarked at how quickly Paul has mastered the grappling game with his in-ring work. He's also shown it in another way by upstaging Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar in the art of rare appearances and even yeah. rarer title defenses. But all kidding aside, Paul may not show up often, but when he does, he over delivers, as seen by his trash talk and his match against The Miz. Number four. Nah, he's he's killing it. He's killing it. I know I've seen some people say, you know, that this wasn't their, you know, probably their least favorite match from Logan, but I think it was good. I think it was an enjoyable match, and he's he's in his element on in wrestling, and especially in WWE. He's in it. He's comfortable on the promos he's good in the ring he, it seems like he knows what he's doing whether you like him or not the dude is fantastic and i think him being in that elimination chamber it's gonna be quite interesting to see how things play out and i do think that's when we're gonna get the la knight and um and logan paul they're gonna start spark their feud in there they're going to spark their feud in there. L.A. Knight and Logan Paul, that's going to be great. Ah, oh, I can't fucking wait, man. L.A. Knight roasts Drew McIntyre. <clears throat> Speaking of trash talk, kudos to L.A. Knight for roasting Drew McIntyre backstage. Drew's smarmy heel act is nothing short of brilliant. Nonetheless, yeah. every good heel needs a good moment of comeuppance, and L.A. Knight served up some humble pie to Drew last night so when he noted good. Drew hasn't held a title since Knight's arrival. 
Knight dug the knife in deeper when he told Drew there's room on his CM Punk WrestleMania tombstone shirt for his name <laughs> DM Punk. It'll be interesting to see how things play out between Drew and LA Knight mm -hmm. in the coming weeks. Number 5. Dakota Kai is on her own. Bailey is no dummy. And while the role model is back to being a babyface, she hasn't suffered the massive IQ drop that often comes when heels revert to babyfaces. No, Dakota Kai may have had a big target on her back thanks to her helping Bailey against damage control, but Bailey has been around the block enough times to know whom to trust. Number six, more good. I'm glad that they're doing that. Uh, I'm glad that Bailey isn't just instantly trusting her. That's good. Especially, and I hope that she mentions that. Like, Dakota, you know I watched you in NXT. In NXT, I say NXT. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Gen A. <laughs> NXT. But you know I watched you in NXT. You you know that some of the stuff you was doing in there, I've seen you betray people. You think I'm stupid? I like that. I have more baby faces actually remember things, you know? And then if you want to try to play up uh, play up her trust for um for Dakota. Make it seem as if Dakota really has changed or whatever. You can do something like that where it caught every it caught Bailey by surprise because she almost believed her or whatever. You can do that, but I like the fact that she's not so trustworthy off rip. Our truth, goodness. Our truth is the wrestling equivalent of MSG. Now we're not talking about Madison Square Garden, but monosodium glutamate. Sprinkle some on, and he makes any segment just that much better. <laughs> Last night, Dominic Mysterio foolishly asked Truth for help during Dirty Dom's match against Kevin Owens, telling the 9,234th time 24/7 champion to get him a chair. Truth simply complied, only to take the chair and just sit on it. Simple yet gold. Yeah. And Bron Breaker joins the Blue Brand. Now, the Blue Brand just got a huge addition in the form yes. of Bron Breaker. The former NXT champion and current NXT tag team champion announced that he's now signed with SmackDown. Fans have been waiting for Breaker to join the main yes. roster for over a year, and it's going to be interesting to see how he's used. He's a tremendous competitor with a proven pedigree, but he'll need a good storyline and opponent to carve mm -hmm. out a spot on SmackDown, a roster that seems to expand weekly. That was the good, what about the bad, as number one, AJ Styles' storyline is meaningless. Damn. AJ Styles is mad as hell, and he's not going to take it anymore, not from other WWE superstars, and not even from his teammates in the OC. Unfortunately, this is anything but high-stakes drama, as the OC have been completely devalued since their latest return. Yeah. Gallows and Anderson compete on NXT, mm -hmm. while Mitchin wins as many matches as Selena Vega. No yeah. offense to Selena Vega, but is the WWE Universe supposed to get invested in this storyline when there are so many other more interesting plots on the blue brand? And AOP Squash Match. Yeah, they, they kind of dropped the ball with AJ Styles' return. Like, people were digging his new character, like, his aggressiveness and just not giving a damn but they really should have expounded on that sooner with him not caring about his group no more but they're just now doing it i don't think people are, are going to be as interested because there's a lot of stuff that's going on that are way more interesting and people care about right now on smackdown than just that angle so it's gonna be very interesting to see what they do with that hopefully they can pick it up but right now no one gives two f's Matt spin cycle. As good as when it they is don't to care see the AOP back in WWE, mm. we hope that they don't get stuck in the squash mat spin cycle where they beat up local talent or NXT undercard wrestlers every week but fail to get any further. Yeah. Hopefully this is just a one and done squash match. As nothing ugly as a proper build up for Elimination Chamber and the WWE also further the white hot rock storyline. What would you guys think of SmackDown this week? Let us know in the comments down below. It was a, it was a solid SmackDown. I enjoyed it. That ending segment was great and it's caused even more conversation which i think we're about to get into next now let's move on to the news Now, first story looks at The Rock signaling he will betray Roman Reigns, and here's why. At top of today's news is The Rock's return to SmackDown and the fallout from him joining the Bloodline, particularly a fan theory that The Rock is setting Roman Reigns up for a fall. It's been said that pride goes before a fall, and mm -hmm. Roman Reigns' hubris is taken on mythological levels, just in time for someone to knock him off his mountain. While Cody Rhodes will be the man who finishes the story, The Rock and Roman will only be starting their saga. Mm -hmm. Ex-user Jimmy Van took a look at a trail end of The Rock's promo, commenting, I rewatched Rock's promo. Look at the camera work when he says he'll do everything to make sure you walk out a loser. Looks like he's pointing at Roman. Oh yeah, Rock mm -hmm. is a double agent on this one. 
While some people have a tendency to look too much into things, especially with WWE, which has traditionally been as subtle as a sledgehammer to the skull with its storytelling, the WWE has improved its storytelling ever since Triple H became Chief Content Officer. You may recall WWE hired someone to serve as its continuity chief to make sure that storylines actually make sense as they develop over time. This was seen with the late great Bray Wyatt's return Rest to the peace. WWE with its meticulous White Rabbit storyline. It's clear that there's more to The Rock's return than just spoiling Cody Rhodes' WrestleMania dream. The beauty of this storyline is that fans just don't know whether The Rock plans to help Cody or hurt him. What is clear is that a showdown is coming between The Rock and Roman. Yeah. How it plays out remains a mystery, and this should make for some of the best wrestling TV in years. Yeah. Another the potential clue that fans have noticed is when the bloodline raised their finger up yeah, in one sign, the rock this. sign is much different. Yeah. His finger and thumb are extended in an L. No, he's not part of the Shoguns, but is this <laughs> a sign that the rock is the real head of the table? After all, the rock is the biggest member of the bloodline. Yeah. His success is tenfold compared to any others of the bloodline. Does this show that the rock's ego is bigger and he's in it for himself? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. And that's a very interesting thing. Everybody's talking about that. Him just doing this. Now, it's easy to just put up one finger. That's that's super easy. You see how easy that is. You just put the thumb down. And some people may think you're looking into it. But at the same time, people made that mention. Now, granted, in the promo, he said, I'm going to make sure Cody is a loser. He says that before he even starts pointing at him. But then it's the way they framed it up. You can take that as if he's pointing at the rock, not uh, pointing at Roman saying, I'm, you know, I, you know, I'm going to I'm going to make you a loser. And then what he said afterwards, which is Cody stories ending. Ours is just beginning. If you really think about that, Cody is trying to end the story. He's trying to end it at WrestleMania. And obviously the rock and Roman story is just going to begin. And it may not be with just Cody getting screwed out of the match because of The Rock. It may be a situation where Roman gets screwed out of the match because of The Rock. And that's what he meant by Cody's story is ending because he's going to take your title. But ours is just beginning. That could be something. That's why, oh, man, we. this is the speculation alone about this promo segment. A lot of people were looking at this like, this may not be what it is. And I personally don't think it is what it is. I do think, and I hope they do this, we start to see subtle hints of The Rock taking over. He's joined the bloodline, but he knows. He's the biggest person in the bloodline. Roman's comfortable. That's why he was smiling. He was happy. He's comfortable, but he doesn't realize The Rock is not in it because... He's going to follow behind Roman. Do you think Roman, I mean, you think The Rock is going to follow behind Roman Reigns and his orders? No. He's not going to fall in line. And that's what's going to be the deciding factor right there. How are these individuals, how are these guys, massive egos, going to align with each other? Because right now, Roman is clearly the top dog. But in comparison to the Rock, he's just a little pup. Even with the championship, he's a little pup. And it's going to be interesting to see how they show that dynamic on television. Looking forward to it. This is great. Some great stuff, man. Next up, two big bouts planned for WrestleMania. It looks like fans could see two major matches at WrestleMania 40 besides the much-anticipated Cody Rhodes vs. Roman Reigns matchup. Fightful Select Sean Ross Sapp was asked about the long-rumored Jay vs. Jimmy Uso match at WrestleMania, and Sapp answered, That was the plan to the best of my knowledge. Okay. The WWE has done an impressive job maintaining the heat between Jay and Jimmy without it boiling over before their first one-on-one -on -one matchup. Many fans doubted if the WWE could keep them apart between SummerSlam, yeah. but they've allowed just enough interaction to remind the fans and confrontation is inevitable without cooling things off. Maybe they did spoil it a little at the Royal Rumble, but that was only just a brief tussle. Don't be surprised if Jimmy cost Jay his Intercontinental Championship yep. shot against Gunther, leading to a clash at WrestleMania. There's also another matchup being discussed, but this one is still up in the air. Fightful Sean Ross Sapp also discussed Logan Paul's opponent at WrestleMania 40, noting LA Knight's mm -hmm. name has been discussed. Yeah. That was the plan. I don't still know if it is the plan, I hope but it that is. was discussed at one Ooh. point. Right now, it looks like the WWE is setting things up for a program between Drew McIntyre and LA Knight. Whether that happens immediately or down the road remains to be seen as the two superstars are on separate brands. 
As for LA Knight versus Logan Paul, this would make for a fantastic match at WrestleMania as fans could expect some great promo battles oh leading up to the match. God, so this could be so the good. WWE's chance to put championship gold yes. around LA's waist and give the US Championship back to a full-time competitor. Yes. While we understand the WWE wants to belt on Paul right now to draw in even more mainstream publicity going into Mania, Paul won't need the title after the WWE Showcase event. Next no. up, an A. Yes, 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 yes. That's... The WrestleMania card is looking good. You can have a situation where Roman gives out orders. Hey, Jay's out there trying to think he's bigger and better than us. Go handle that for us on Monday Night Raw. Give him orders. Do something like that. Or it can be a situation where now that they got The Rock, Roman's feeling some type of way. He's feeling good. And he has, he sends the orders for Jay. I mean, for Jimmy to screw over Jay or whatnot, so he can't get, the, he can't win the Intercontinental Championship from Gunther, and it's basically because Roman's like, see, this is, you thought you can just be fine without us, you thought you could be good without us, you thought you can gain championships without us. No, we're not having that. Nope. Uh, they, just to just to spite him because now they got Roman Reigns. That would be great. Set up a match. Boom. Set up a match. And then I would have Jay win at the Royal, uh, at the WrestleMania, and then it could be a situation where Roman's like, you know what, you got to go. I'm trying to kick him out because you lost. Like, it, uh, the story they can tell just with that alone. Looking forward to that. And also, Logan Paul, LA Knight, they've had their back and forth at last year's um, Money in the Bank. What are we waiting for? And I think the Elimination Chamber is going to set that up perfectly. They're both in there. It's going to be a situation where either LA Knight cost uh, um, Logan Paul the match or Logan Paul cost LA Knight the match. And that's how we're going to get into it. They're going to get into it in the, in the Elimination Chamber. And then it's going to go from there. And I'm all for it. I'm all for it. WrestleMania this year, this card, potentially, is looking to be really, really good. And they have some, some great storylines they can expound on. AEW star returning soon, there's potential good news for AEW as Dave Meltzer reports that Dr. Britt Baker has been training hard. Although she isn't cleared for wrestling, Meltzer reports her return shouldn't be long. Baker has been off AEW TV for some time and for whatever reason, AEW hasn't been used her to cut promos to help others get over. AEW's women's division is mediocre at best and a Damn. mess at worst. Hopefully she'll be back soon and while she isn't carrying the division on her back, the recent addition of Deanna Parazzo and the rumored debut of Sasha mm -hmm. Banks should help very much. While former AEW Women's Champion J.B. Hayter's return date remains a mystery, her return can't come sooner enough. And finally, an NXT superstar injured again? And last but not least, apparently bad news for NXT superstar oh, Nikita Lyons as Dave Meltzer is reporting she is injured again. Lyons has been repeatedly bitten by the injury bug with her previous injury being an ACL tear that oh. kept her out of action for nearly a year. Hopefully, the WWE can determine what's going on and get Lions back into competitive shape. While she has plenty of talent, the WWE might be reluctant to give her a push if they feel she's yeah. injury-prone and looking at her time in NXT. It's difficult to say she's not. But there you have it, folks. Damn. I will look at SmackDown. That's definitely unfortunate. Hope she's able to recover, you know, quickly and, you know, she can, you know, get back into the swing of things and... and Hopefully it's not a serious injury. So, you know, wishing here nothing but uh, a speedy recovery. But, hey, man, comment down below. Let me know what's y'all thoughts on this whole uh, Rock joining the bloodline. And do y'all feel like he is a double agent? A lot of you guys have been talking about it on social media. Like, yeah, man, I think he is playing Roman Reigns. I, I think he's going to turn on him. Do y'all actually... Uh, believe that now with this promo he had joining the bloodline and what are your reasonings what what things kind of tipped that off to you in your opinion on the rock turning on roman potentially um at this year's wrestlemania let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel road to 150k and i'm still getting speedy youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking me see you next one peace